horrible with Paladin on floor. Uh, so my progress got wiped again. I think I found the issue now. So hopefully it won't happen again. But anyways, in my wanting to get back to where I am now, I might have discovered a pretty interesting setup. Now I don't know if it will work on this map. I only tried it on the beginning map. But let's see if it would work. Basically, I pretty much go to the beginning map just to show the strategy. Now, it's really bad against the Moab, and I think if you have the Moab Mauler, that can fix that. So, hopefully, we can get that in the map. I think there's only one more line to do that. Anyways, you start off, until you have a bunch of money here, just get through the early rounds with a bunch of blade shooters. This single one should actually handle, like, most of the rounds, until what, maybe round 15, I think? We'll get another one there as backup, however. Sorry about that. Anyways, now we just wait for the tax shooter to handle all these early game rounds. We're gonna upgrade it to a blade shooter soon. And believe me, the blade shooter is actually surprisingly powerful if you have it in a good position. So let's just keep wait until this round ends. And we have enough to upgrade it to Blade Shooter. Again, this should handle most of the first 10 or 15 rounds. And we'll get another Pack Shooter there, and maybe even there. Just to deal with some of the possible leakage. And now we just wait. Yeah, I... We also want to get some banana farms, because we need a lot of money for this set to work. Because, let's just say it involves two beacons, and a lot of a tower that costs about $300. Not gonna say which tower, maybe it's a bunch of boats, but... That's not. <laughs> That would be hilariously terrible. Hey, what is it? I'm trying to figure out what rounds you can get by without losing money. If per RBE. We're gonna assume that the money you gain at the end of the round is a hundred, even though with every round it increases. But mm, just trying to make it simple for that. You could, you'd have to have an RBE of 60 or below in order to get by with just using road spikes. Assuming you make $100 per round. If you make $105 a round, you can get by with $70. 70 RBE. Oh, now we're already leaking. Let's quickly... Or actually, we're just gonna sell this to get, uh, to, re to relocate it here. <clears throat> and now we wait. Why I moved it here is just because it's closer to the start of the track, so it will allow the rounds to go by faster. 
I could have gotten it there or something, but then again, it's not really on a... This isn't exactly on a complete bed, so it's not quite as efficient as this. And you can see, just these two attack figures can easily get past quite a lot of rounds. Now let's see which tower costs about $300 that I could maybe do it with. So we've got multiple options. Maybe I'm just using the tax shooter the whole game. Or I could be doing a boomerang thrower strategy. Or somehow using snap freeze as a nice tower strategy. Yeah, that actually could work. Like, it wouldn't do well against Moab. But I said that about this strategy. And yeah, if you have just a bunch of ice towers, it could theoretically infinitely freeze a bunch of things, so that could be a possibility. That's, yeah. We've also got the blue gunner, and yeah, that's about it. Boomerang thrower, ice tower, blue gunner, or tax shooter. And I just realized that what I said about the ice tower made it sound like I wasn't using the ice tower, so I leave that a surprise. And hopefully this video doesn't get so long. Like an hour long or something. Also, there is actually a great way to deal with moabs. You see, in this I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is like a recreation of the game or something. Maybe a manual conversion from Flash to HTML5. But anyways, there's a glitch in it where if you die, it, it thinks that you won and you can go into free play. And it's pretty funny. <laughs> So that's an easy real way to deal with my log. Anyways, let's get another attack here. And you know what? Soon I'm gonna get a bomb tower just to prepare for a future Moab Mauler. Maybe even multiple Moab Maulers.
Okay, we can afford a bomb tower. Let's just place it probably here. I think that's a decent spot for it. And now we need to upgrade it. And we're already on round 15, so... Strategy works against Moab, because I haven't exactly tested that yet. And we can already afford bigger bombs, which is nice. The next upgrade is longer range. Not some way to upgrades ever, but you know it helps. Also, I just realized that almost every tower can change their attack in some game, in at least one game. So the dark monkey, it can become a spike pulse. The Tax Seeker can become a Blade Seeker. The Boomerang Tower can be a Blade Tower. The Bomb Tower can be a Missile Launcher. The Ice Tower in James TD6 can shoot a Ice. Magic Ice Ball. The Mortar doesn't really change its actual attack. The glue gunner uh pretty much the same. The monkey beacon well the monkey beacon itself doesn't change its attack. Well unless you count another super monkey storm and doing two before but I'm not gonna count that. But in Green TV5 and Green TV6, there is the Monkey Village, which is basically just the Monkey Beacon. And the Monkey Village in Green TV6, one of the six tier upgrades, has a projectile that they can throw. So there's that. The Monkey Ace in Green's Power Defense 6 and possibly even 5 can not only change, can not only add an explosive pineapple, but can change that pineapple into actual bomb. The monkey buckler in Green's TD 5 and 6 can, instead of using cannons to attack, launch out mini monkey races. The Monkey Apprentice can change its attack a whole lot. Do I even need to go over that? Same with the Super Monkey. It goes from dark to lazy to plasma to sun rays. <laughs> and the banana farm can go over that. And then the Monkey's Cub? Yeah, in Blink 2 to 6, I know that it has a missile attack and a regular dirt attack and a submerged 
radioactive attack. Well, do we have? Oh, I think it's about time we continue on with the strategy because uh, these tax creatures are struggling. I think I may actually just play some tax. And then time to sell some of the blade shooters and get our actual defense up. First of all, we need this. Hopefully this doesn't drain our money. And then we're going to have blue gunners. First of all, we need to be able to actually pop them. So let's first invest into corrosive glue and of course that defense strong. Hello. Then we start upgrading this. We can't quite get jungle drums yet, but we should have that soon. And then start popping drums. It's not the greatest defense yet, and I'm probably going to have to place down a few road spikes, but trust me, with time it will become amazing. Okay, yeah. We might have to wait a bit even into the next round. Unless, how much money are we gonna get this round? <clears throat> okay, almost there. In fact, if we sell this, we... Is it worth selling it? Not yet. And there's jungle drones. We're actually probably going to need to temporarily sell this so that we can hurry up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, another corrosive blue, and now you can see how this can start to become pretty powerful. <clears throat> as long as we get no more. We need a bit more money, but then we can upgrade this into corrosive blue. And, yeah! So how close are we? Okay, pretty far away. Oh, camouflage? Yep. Okay, I don't have the radar scanner quite yet. Okay, we're gonna have to show this with the radar scanner. The sonar beacon, sorry. So we can target camos. Already dealing with zebra blooms actually pretty well. I think I can safely get this right now. Hmm. 
The defense is a bit slow right now, but trust me, this time it will actually get pretty fast. There we go. Pretty sure a couple of these were have gotten hit by this instead of the corrosive one, which is a bit of a problem, but I think it will be fine. Uh maybe it won't be fine. There we go. Hopefully this doesn't keep causing us to fail and we have to spend money on tax or roadside cars. Although we should almost be able to afford it. There we go, and now all these games will start getting corroded away. Hopefully. Yep. Because as far as I know, nope, they weren't hit by that blue toad blue. They were hit by this blue gunner, which has corrosive glue, so they must have corrosive glue on them. Well, it's a weird dog hunt. Hopefully this video doesn't go on forever. <laughs> but yeah, this is Glue Strategy 2.0 where I'm actually going to be using it. Not replacing it for a super monkey or anything. Oh wow, six 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 nine.
now we can afford now we can afford a bomb tower or another glue gunner. <laughs> I think you know the one I'm going for. I'm pretty sure you only need like three, but we're getting this one just in case. And good draw on draw. This has gotten literally no pop. There we go, had 777 money for it, and then it changed to 906. And we should probably start investing into banana farms. that much money at the minute, but if we upgrade it, it will give us a ton of money. In fact, I think I'm going to sell this because it's actually doing nothing, so yeah, probably just going to get more than it is. can't quite afford to get plantation. We pop some blue. There we go. More money. Closer to 
Okay, nice. Okay, I'm a rush. Getting closer to rank 17, which I'm pretty sure is the one you can buy a mobile mall in this. I would check, but I really want to get a banana rock right now. So. and then the pink wings come and uh, yeah so I think the more mollers should help on those two hopefully That should be fine because the banana republic gives a lot. Of money. <laughs> uh, I love how the missing one can't have a single red. <laughs> uh, anyways, here's Corrosive Blue, so. If we can get the more of Mauler and hopefully we can, but I'm pretty sure the mob spawns at around 40, which is not sure if that little pink rush is going to be able to get yeah, there.
think if we can't afford the more, if we can't rank up before the more, we might have to swap down a super monkey. Anyways, I'm gonna go get a drink of water. I'll be right back. Okay, okay, we actually might be able to do it unless this is a ceramic rush, which I don't know then. Okay, seems to just be rainbows. Good, good. Red? This is a brown. Okay, no, wait, we've got... Yeah. 
think I yeah, hopefully the bomb tower will deal with them, otherwise I'm gonna have to explore the pineapple. Maybe you know what I don't know. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Actually, did decently well. Still probably gonna have to move some wood pipes. There we go. That should be enough. Yeah, the other problem is that glue can't slow down ceramic. So, yeah, they reach too far, and with the slow popping rate of these towers, they can get quite far because glue can't slow them. So, yeah. Do we have a region out here? Okay, that would explain it. In 45 minutes, and still at round, still just at round 41.
what that was mean. Now. What? Okay, well, I guess we failed if we want to do a no live bluff challenge. Luckily, that's not what we're doing. And there we go. Unlock more mowers. This, this should get us through the mob, which I think is coming up on this round. Nope, the round after this, I'm pretty sure. But we do have to ramp. Which could be a problem, but I think we might be. Okay, exploding pineapple. And I'm pretty sure at round 50 we have to handle two mobs, so hopefully we don't die. And hopefully we can wrap this up soon because it's already been 50 minutes and I don't really want to upload a 50 minute long video like I used to do. People will just see the time and think, nope, not gonna be for that long. But if you are hearing this, then you're one of the people who I stayed that long. And we're actually using a lot of stuff, which is really 
your dad. Oh, so you have money to spam. So you can just spam root spice and then you can just catch a few things down by the time. You've got a giant root spice pile that you don't really need. That's fun. And actually, I probably should be in just in this money that I got into the mana farm. Or actually, the mana in public, sorry. thousand dollars to land. In fact, I'm pretty sure we can get it to 2,500. Yep. It ate up most of our money, but... Yeah, that's enough to afford a super monkey in... Assuming that you have enough room on... that you can talk about. That's just one round. If you're only in 10 of banana farms, however, then it will take two rounds if then you start from zero cash. Be nice, we can have a road strike even. There you go. We get 2,644 money. And now we can afford... Um, okay, there's the Moab. Now we can afford another banana farm. And get another banana republic. And by now it's an infinite loop. Every round, you get another banana republic. to get a super monkey for this. So oh wait. Do we really have to do this? I think we do. We'll just get it next round. And oh no, we just have a basic super monkey. Don't tell me. We might have to get rid of another one. But it's fine, we can just stay in two rounds. This should allow us to get... I think we have to do it. We buy Banana Republic, but we need laser rings. We're not gonna tell another one even though we're so close to that. time to work back get our banana farms back up. Wait, why did you get
the gate where pink wins we have red and blue blinds. Or actually pink and yellow blinds we have about red and blue blinds. About 4,500 per round. That should be enough for a banana public every round. Banana Republic, not banana Republic. Banana Republic every single round. And I know we have a ceramic test. Hopefully, we can deal with it. At least, help you with it. Oh wait, the next round is the last one. 
and this is narrow, but then I can do it all my way to do it. Anyways, after this one, we're just gonna sell chocolate and max money and just buy a bunch of Moa Molars. Okay? You buy Banana Republic, you served as well. And time to buy a bunch of Moab Mollers. Let's see, what's the radius of that? So about a thousand dollars per Mauler, I'd say. Maybe. That's about three thousand dollars. Pretty sure we can still afford that. Okay, that's actually over a thousand dollars. But still not that expensive. Like maybe $1,500? Mostly because of the initial cost and the Moa Mauler upgrade. Okay, probably can get a few more. Uh, I don't know if that would cover it. Let's get two more should be safe. Pretty sure we can afford a third. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we should be able to afford a third. And there we have it. A bunch of blow up smallers. And one odd thing out. Can you tell which one is out of the ordinary? Hmm, I wonder. Okay, the green gunner should be able to easily land in the red. The only problem is that they're very focused on the Moab. So they miss the black
Mm. Well, we just lost, but that's fine. Anyways, that's all for today. Goodbye, everyone.